What's up, guys? So, I haven't spoke to y'all in a while, and I said I was going to be doing that fucking RSX off soon. So, turns out I'm a liar. But, uh, it is still soon in my book. Just not as soon as expected. Um, because, I don't know if you guys remember paying attention to what I was talking to before. I was saying about the, having uh, code enforcement come through and fucking with me. So, I had to do, like, um... A last minute rush to fucking get my front porch clear and everything is off the porch now except the k20 swap and from the donor car and the j block and uh, i'm hoping that all that progress will be down to the point where i won't get nagged if the dude comes through again and i left the k swap on there because this is uh, the k1 into the rsx and i'm going to swap everything over from the donor swap to this long block to get it running this is one of the two K23 A3s I still need to break down. And, of course, the one from the donor swap is going to get tore down. So I got two more of these up for tear down and figure out what I'm going to do with. And then, um, then that, of course, that's going into the car. Uh, I guess the the immediate rebuild on the list here is this B20 is getting a stock overhaul. Um, a friend gave me uh, his uh, engine stand, and I'm going to do this for free for him. Or I guess I guess it could be considered a trade. Yeah. Trading the engine engine stand for some labor here. Uh, the stock, uh, stock, stock overhaul with potential boost being thrown at it later. So, yeah, the B20, if I didn't say it already. Uh, this is one of the single cams that I have. I have um, another block outside. I think I might have two. Maybe. I'm not sure. I have another another single cam laying around here somewhere with a crank in it that's probably bad. But it is, this one's supposedly healthy. I'm gonna hopefully find out in the in the near future. Um, this will be another Vitara build, if uh, well, when when it'll be because I'm not buying parts anytime soon. Like I said, I've been preaching about that too. It's like I'm not buying anything new for a while. Um, and th it'll be with well, the next time I turn profit. So the next time I do a build for profit, I'll spend three hundred dollars and buy pistons and rods that I need for that for the for the Vitara. Oh man, uh, right now, I guess I'm about to go through another teardown phase, you know, I got the those K20s um, to tear down and redo, and this also to tear down and redo, uh, hopefully this will be turned around relatively quickly in the next couple of weeks, that way it's not sitting around taking up space for too long, because space is something I don't have any of, and for any of you guys who are thinking, oh my wife would never tolerate that, well, you know, she's not the happiest person in the world to have to deal with this kind of shit, but uh, you know, this is like a temporary crowd, and, and then after 24 hours or so, I'll be able to I'll go through and rearrange everything. Uh, it'll be a little easier when I get the, the keys sorted out, you know, because I, I ran out of space for those. One's going outside, but of course another one's going to come to take its place. But uh, I think what I'll do is both of the long blocks are going to go into the back, into the little tent area, covered up in some tarp until until this is off the stand and I'm ready to tear down the next ones. Uh, I guess for the immediate plan for the engine blocks I have right now is uh, not so much rebuilds as in, like I, like, I, you know, it's like I said about selling the bare blocks. I have that B20B, this JDM block, so, you know, it, it's healthy as fuck. So I'm going to prep it for sale. I'm probably going to sell it bare and sell it for 300 bucks. Uh, the last one sold for 250 in less than a month, and it was, you know, just a regular B20. I figure... The fact that it's JDM, these JDM nuts out there will go crazy for it, and I'll be able to make a little bit more money off of it. And then uh, what it, the plan is to do to do for that is when I sell that, to sell the next bear block, the next B uh, B twenty or that other B twenty, I want to take a, a maybe maybe even all of that money and take some of these K twenties to the machine shop and have them board over, so that way I can have some fresh board blocks to sell, and then I can increase uh, increase the price tag on a little bit and hopefully use that to start making some money. Um, so I don't want to want to bear I don't want to buy any more engine blocks until I get some of these cleared out. But I'm not gonna lie. There's a the, the same guy I built the the other Vitara for that I got that K24 head over there from. He decided that he's gonna sell that short block as well, and he's $350, and I'm fucking extremely tempted to buy it. I very much want a K24. It's funny, you know, like uh, I, the K24 is what I wanted the most, and the K20 is what I just keep coming across. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's just a quick little update. What's going on? Um, uh, I would like to do the K23, or I'd like to do that K20 swap for the RSX sometime this week. Uh, there's a there's a good chance that um, what I'll do tomorrow after I get off of work or come back home from the gym is uh, I'll take the other K20 out there and start moving everything over. 
uh, once I get everything moved over from the other swap to the new swap, then I'll have it. I'll be able to put it back under cover and have it set there. So that way, the next thing I need to do is just roll it out to the car and drop it in. Now I might not. I might not get to the swap until I'm on my weekend again. But we're already on day two of my week. Um, so I've only got today, tomorrow, and the day after to work, and then I'm back on the weekend again. And I know if the swap is already prepped and ready to drop in. Um, That'll be that'll be a huge motivation to me to actually get things done. I know that a lot of times I procrastinate and like do everything in like a big rush, but that's kind of what happened today. Everything got done in a big rush. Uh, everything got shuffled around again, uh, and hopefully you can get some progress done this week. Uh, Cause I get you know uh, the fucking friend of mine reminded me yeah because I don't have the original ECU for my shell and I got a new ECU. I'm gonna have to get past the immobilizer, so I got to do that before I can even start the car. But uh. But anyway, the most important thing, just like with the Integra at the time, was getting the swap dropped in. And as far as the Integra goes, uh, I haven't had any time to really go out and fuck with it. Uh, hopefully, I'll get uh, get on it in the next uh, in the next week or so. Um, and I might, uh, because I gave myself a deadline, but that was if I was actually going to be troubleshooting on it. Um, so what I might do is uh, I might just swap out the pump. And if that doesn't do anything, I might just see if I can get a hold of somebody who's willing to come out and check it out, maybe check some things before I decide to scrap the car. All right, guys, uh, yeah, not not super exciting, but I just, just wanted to give an update on what's going on here and um, maybe get some insight. Maybe we'll see if you guys actually want to see some uh, teardowns or whatnot because this is going to be a full teardown and rebuild. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I might do the head. Um, we'll see about that. Maybe... Because I have that generic valve spring compressor, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass for these things to do. So I might, uh, that might be something I, I'm willing to do. Like, I'll do the head rebuild if I can get Homeboy to buy me the tool, which I think is like 30 bucks for the, you know, just like the one I bought the other day for the K, you know, buy one for the B. So that way it's just real simple to do. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now, and peace.